thought we'd enjoy the view outside at the library before heading inside to see what's going on inside the media cloisters. We've been having a hot, sweaty day of moving cables and partitioning. We got the new towers in, the new IMAX. These ones are baked and ready to go. Baking. Here we are. Baking one right now. Being on campus the last couple of weeks has made me really appreciate the amount of work and uh, strategic planning it takes to get the campus ready over the summer when not many people are here. There's an incredible sense of preparation, getting things done, uh, and, and the students and faculty starting to trickle back onto campus. It's a very exciting time of the year. Well, the shirt I'm wearing is the um, one year's attempt to create a, a uniform for uh, Media Cloisters employees. And these shirts are going to be going to the Salvation Army. I don't think I'll be wearing it again. Next, I'm going to introduce you to Gordon and Jess, a couple of the students that have been uh, working very hard this summer to do things around here. Gordon is our audio expert, and I have a quick clip of him. Hey, I'm Gordon, and I am the audio specialist here at the Cloisters. This is my dual cinema display station. And um, basically what I'm doing here is currently transferring audio cassette tapes of one of the art professors here at Vassar. His, uh, his answering machine messages for the past 20 years and uh, transferring them to high resolution digital for some future art installation um, that is as of yet undetermined how it will actually be. But I'm the archivist for that kind of stuff and um, also basically been working on allocations here this summer, setting up machines, uh, putting in all the programs, making sure everything's running just fine. And during the school year, I'll be teaching tech tutorials on audio programs and stuff like that. I had a great meeting this week with Marisa and Carolyn in the library as library staff and we're talking about uh, creating a digital archive of the student tour. So when the students come next week, uh, we'll digitize in some way and so if anybody missed it or uh, wants to hear it again they missed some of the details, they can play it again at their, at their leisure. Uh, I met with Kathy who's interested in screencasting. She wants to create uh, video tutorials for people to to train them how to better access, I believe, the online subscription databases that Vassar students have access to. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour around to see. We're not. Last week was kind of the beginning, uh, the before picture. We're we're not quite at the end picture as far as uh, physical resources, but we're somewhere towards the middle, second half of the middle. I hope. This is one of four new video workstations with uh, three gigahertz of processing power provided by Quad Core and. Uh, we also installed Final Cut Studio 2 on these this week. This is one of four of our brand new IMAX. It's a general purpose station. This one in particular is attached to the slide scanner and uh, scanner. Uh, I love the new IMAX because they have the, uh, the eyesight camera and a built-in microphone, of course. This is one of three design stations that has Creative, Adobe's Creative Suite 3 on it. This is our audio workstation. This is our new pile of stuff to get taken back and recirculated throughout the campus. Uh, these are our old machines that uh, we're hoping to get picked up soon. Notice this is a higher grade of stuff to be removed than we saw a couple weeks ago. This is part of the floor that we, we couldn't see before because it had stuff on it. It's a view into the Media Cloisters office. Uh, Fred. I was very happy to meet Fred this week, and he complimented me by saying, well, you used to need boots to go in here, so this is definitely better. This is an attempt to uh, deal with the cable overflow that we is all over the place here. Look, cleaned up cabinets. Hard, hard drives. All right, still messy, but uh, better than it was before. I think we're definitely making progress. I also need to mention that Jess, as uh, one of our summer employees, uh, has been doing some great stuff. Uh, she's been doing uh, digital film editing for a flash-based presentation to help uh, students with alcohol awareness. It's a really neat project. Reminds me a little bit of South Park. Um, 
she's also been doing this digital archiving of costumes and collecting data and then editing the data and then formatting it or getting it ready to be put into some kind of 3D object. She's also been working with Ginny to develop a uh, to improve the look and layout of our academic computing services brochure, which we hope to have ready the next week when we meet the new faculty. Uh, I had a lot of nice people drop by the last couple weeks. I want to just say thanks to the Vassar community for welcoming me with such open arms, and uh, everyone has been really terrific. Um, Gordon and Jess have been great working in the lab. Steve, Ginny, uh, Matt, and, and uh, Christian have been great. Uh, hope Meg will be back soon. Hope to be working with her again. People have been so warm, so friendly. It's a great community. And something I've noticed, I went to school here about 15, 16 years ago, and there are a lot of familiar faces, a lot of familiar names. Uh, this is, must be such a great place to establish roots because evidenced by the fact that so many people are, are still here. And uh, I think that's terrific. And I, I look forward to uh, doing my part to uh, make the community a little more high tech and get people involved with some, some technology projects to enhance their classroom experience or, or enhance their experience as a student or an administrator. Uh, thanks for tuning in.